Luke, it is great to see you. Uh, thank you so much for... Yeah, okay, all right, yeah. <laughs> oh! Uh, uh, we, we have a lot in common. Uh, all right. <laughs> besides looks... You too. Besides looks, <laughs> we're identical twins. But um, uh, I know that you're, you have an Airstream. You own an Airstream. I do, yeah. Yeah. Talk to me about this. Uh, uh, it was sort of a, one of those uh, kind of COVID impulse buys. My wife and I had yeah. just moved to Austin, Texas. You know, we were going to um, put down some roots. I love Austin. COVID hit, and uh, our really cool loft became like a jail cell. And we were just yeah. kind of trapped in there and figured, I would always wanted to do it. Always wanted an Airstream. Me always too. wanted to do that big cross-country trip. And so we finally did it. You did it? Yeah. Now, what, what, I see, because I, when I get my, my Airstream, I kind of, I, 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 I rent it almost for like a, like a week <laughs> or less. I think I get it. you I, don't have an Airstream. I don't currently have an Airstream. <laughs> <laughs> but at one point, I had one for a week. And I, 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 I had it, I, I, I set it up in a, in a, in a, on a beach. Oh, cool, man. Yeah. yeah aren't did. they the greatest? It's not the roomiest thing It turned in into a different person no I, I i was like i was the dude i was the man i loved it yeah i lived in my my uh my my, my trailer neighbors were all my buds yeah man we had our whole yeah we were like we had our own thing our own deal we loved it. we were sharing food yeah that trip sort of became about for us like finding where we actually wanted to live yeah and we went to all the mountains all through the west and ended up in in montana and which is where the airstream is now parked at our house that we built is so, that right yeah that was sort of the Kind of homesteaded up there a little bit. No, we did. I, I, I had this Airstream, and then, uh, to, uh, to, to be really honest, I do own an Airstream, because when, we, uh, when, when the pandemic happened, we all shut down, I mentioned, you know, before on the show that I loved this Airstream, and they, uh, uh, they gave me one to make into a studio for our show. Oh, cool, man. To, to do the show from my backyard. Amazing. Yeah, so it was because of Airstream that we got to actually do the show for a couple episodes. So thank you, Airstream, for doing that. Wow. It was a wild, bizarre thing, but I never changed it. I kept it as a television studio. So basically, all through COVID, you and I were in Airstreams. So yeah, we are the yeah. same person, but, bro. Yeah. <laughs> do, was there any down, is there any downside to traveling, just living on the road on an Airstream? Uh... The only downside was that we have a cat, and uh, it's a Bengal cat, so it's like kind of a high-tech cat. It's not like a normal, like... <laughs> what does a high-tech cat mean? <laughs> it's just got more going on than, like, you know, a house cat that just sits there and licks itself or whatever. You know? Yeah. It's, like, it's, got, it's got a lot of energy, and uh, that was tough. It did not like the, the confined space. And, uh, so what did you have to do? Well, at first, we would just let it kind of run around, and then coyotes were coming around and it, you know that wasn't very good so my wife got a leash for our cat and turns out it's uh it's not very easy to walk a cat off. i was gonna say can you walk a cat is that possible uh you can uh, just not near trees or anything that they can <laughs> climb they it's... climb trees <laughs> yeah well I, mean, well I guess obviously cat in a tree or whatever <laughs> yeah. that that actually happens yeah that old song and dance <laughs> yeah i mean i've seen it in cartoons but they really do climb up in trees oh yeah she'd be sitting there just holding the leash oh you brought it you brought it <laughs> you actually have a picture yeah you should Proof. cat wow <laughs> oh, no, yeah. wow you really that really did happen <laughs> did you you ended up getting it out of the tree i'm assuming yes yeah yeah we got yeah, her yeah, back we got her back <laughs> now you, you left her there yeah, yeah. Of course. So she's great <laughs> she's still in that tree. yeah so, um <laughs> not only do you star in the biggest show on television but you have your first country music single out right now buddy yeah. look at this no horse to ride. congratulations Thanks, man uh how did this all come about uh, I, I've always played music. Yeah, music right. sort of came first. Yeah, I grew up in church and, and I've been playing music since I was probably 10 or 11 years old. And uh, just something I always stuck with. I was always in bands when I lived in L.A. And, um, and someone kind of caught wind that I was writing some stuff. And one thing led to another and I got a record deal. So here we are. Wow. So, so No Horse to Ride is out right now. Are you going to do a, an album? Yes, I record. Uh, I start recording in February. It should be out probably... Yeah. End of March ish. No way. Yeah, yeah. So Go, it's all, it's Luke Rack Cloth, I'm talking about. Dude, congratulations, man. Thanks, dude. It's all happening. Thanks, man. Can we talk about Yellowstone? It, oh, yeah. It's the biggest thing to happen in television since Seinfeld. I don't know what, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's a giant, giant show that everyone's watching. And there's, there's a lot of drama going on right now uh, between uh, your character siblings, and uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but it looks like you're not going to spoil anything either. You're not. Lips are sealed. Yeah, you're really good at this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you know what's going to happen? 
Um, no, I don't. I think so, so, some of the cast know the end. I, you know, some have been told, some haven't. You I, don't want to know. I don't. I don't, and I don't think uh, I don't think Taylor, who writes our show, wants me to know either. Uh, just. I don't know. It might, it might affect the way you do something or play something, and uh, it's kind of fun to experience it this way anyway. It's sort of, you know, like life. It just kinda... how, do you, how do you describe your character? I, uh, let's say I, I, I've heard descriptions saying your character's kind of like Michael Corleone in The Godfather. Yeah, I th that's been kind of a reference throughout, uh, but we'll have to see. You know, I think that's what we're all kind of waiting to see. Is it, can he kind of step up and man up and, and do the things necessary to help the family keep the place or not. I think that's what we're all gonna, we're all kind of watching to find out. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Luke Grimes in the mid-season finale of Yellowstone. Take a look at this. Can you come tomorrow and get the rest on the road? Let me just ask my wife. Yeah, you do that, son. Whatever she says, stick to it. Yeah. Tends to be the safest move. You're stronger than I was. I guess that's how it's supposed to be. I love you, son. Come on now, who's cool? <laughs> who's cooler than this guy? Uh, Luke, before you go, uh, now you're 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 a country music star. You're a star of Yellowstone. Now I thought we'd put uh, you to a test in a new game called Line or Lyric. Yellowstone edition, okay? Now, here's how this works. I'm gonna read a line off this card. You have to tell me if it's dialogue from Yellowstone or if it's a country music lyric. <laughs> okay. Then we'll show you a video of the correct answer. You ready for okay, that? Okay, yeah, let's do it. And here's the first one. <clears throat> you are the trailer park, I am the tornado. That is Beth Dutton, for sure, 100%. You think Beth Dutton, 100%? 100%. It is not a country music That lyric. is my final answer. You are the trailer park, I am the tornado. All right, well, <laughs> let's see if he's right. You are the trailer park. I am the tornado. Thanks, good. Yeah, come on. There you go. Beth <laughs> How awesome is Beth Dutton? All right, here we go. How about this one? I should have been a cowboy. I should have learned to rope and ride. <laughs> That's a country song. Let me see. I should have been a cowboy. <laughs> Toby Keith. I should have learned to roll. Back in the Mullen days. Yeah, yeah, you look good back in the Mullen days. Yeah, Toby Keith right there. All right. Uh, how about this one? We got so much to talk about. Why aren't we talking? Yellowstone? Is it Yellowstone or is it country music lyrics? Can I see? ask the audience? We got a lot to talk about. That's so much to talk about. Why aren't we talking? That's exactly right. Why are we talking about you? Yeah. Casey Dutton, Luke Grimes, everybody else still returns this summer on Paramount Network. We'll be right back with a performance from Protege. Stick around, everybody.